I like, click, subscribe, do all that. You already know what time it is. It's Netflix time. This show is called Bridgerton. Daphne wants to marry for love. The Duke of Hastings is about never to be married at all. And the spark of attraction is about to burn out of control. So this show here is about the highest of classes, yes. So season one came out last year. It's about eight episodes an hour apiece. So let's talk about the first episode, Diamond of the First Water. Daphne debuts on London's marriage market as a new gossip sheet sets high society at Twitter and Simon, the eligible Duke of Hastings, returns to town. So let's get straight into it, shall we? Yes. So right off the bat, we have all the women in the land getting ready to meet the queen so she can pick who's ready to be wed. And here we have Daphne Bridgerton, our star. But before they can go, their mom is looking for their brother. Like, where is Anthony at? Well, Anthony is somewhere in the woods with this chick named Sienna out there tapping the chicks. Giving some little haul at the business, yes. <laughs> While that's going on, everybody's gathering at the Queen's estate. Once they get there, Anthony finally shows up. First, they're introduced to the Featherington sisters, followed in by their mom looking all happy and proud and all that. The Queen, not looking amused at all. And because they didn't properly bow, the Queen is like, ugh, dismissed. Like, get up out of here. One of the sisters faints getting all dramatic and all that. Mom looking like, man, if y'all get your goofy ass up. And up next, Daphne Bridgerton. She bows properly and gets the respect of the queen. And I guess with the blessing that they could be able to name a suitor for her, she could be able to be wedded. I'm assuming that's what that means. And then the whole town is getting letters from this lady named Mrs. Whistledown. And I'm thinking to myself, who the hell is Mrs. Whistledown? Now she's supposed to be regarded as almost as prominent as the queen. And she's also the narrator of the show. But we don't see her face yet and we don't really know who she is. So as far as I know, Mrs. Whistledown is a fucking mystery. Well, anyway, you got the Featheringtons talking a gang of shit after the fact of everything that took place. And the Lord Featherington decides to bring their cousin to the house, a lady by the name of Marina Thompson. See, the top two sisters are highly vain and opinionated on themselves, but the smaller sister is very, kind of more down to earth. Can't even front, I'm getting Cinderella vibes over here. Then all of a sudden, riding into town comes the Duke of Hastings, Simon. He goes to see this Lady Eloise looking chick. She wants to get him a suitor, but he's not looking to be married anytime soon. But she's hosting a ball and convinces him to come. Now, obviously, he doesn't want to go, but he'll be there. Meanwhile, we found out that Chick Sienna has a talent for singing. And who's there to greet her after the business is done? Anthony. You know he's about to re-raise some cheeks and get her that bloody bum. I'm sorry, that was terrible. Anyway. So, yeah, you already know. She wants him to stay, but he can't because he got to escort his sister Daphne to the ball. The same ball that the Duke of Hastings will be attending. And now they're at the ball. Potential suitors are staring her down, but you know her brother is keeping an eye on all these clowns. One guy comes through and tries to court her, but then the brother pulls his card about some gambling debts. And then after that, he goes about his business. He's basically explaining how all these guys are pretty much no good and gives reasons. Basically doing his brotherly duty. Then you got the Featherington sisters and their mom. I swear I get Cinderella vibes every time I see them. And of course, Simon gets approached by every woman because he's the most marvelous man in the entire ball. Uh, Daphne's just chilling and all of a sudden, this guy by the name of Lord Beata Brook comes along. She's not really feeling him like that. And the more she talks to him, the more she realizes he's a fucking clown. She walks away and she's basically trying to get away from him when she bumps into the Duke. She's hoping to continue having conversations with Duke just to make sure Bear Brook doesn't keep following her around. Then her brother pops back out and then she finds out they're actually the, both the best of friends. Simon and Anthony, that is. And I think they said they actually went to school together at one point in time. So Anthony tells her there's nobody that really can suit you here, you know what I'm saying, don't dance with anybody, keep your status up, and tells her to go home, and which she does. So on the next day, they get her together to sit in this room to be courted. Like a bunch of guys lining up to give them their best lines or whatever. It felt like a talent show at times, I was like... What? The Featheringtons were kind of doing the same thing. They thought some suitors would come for them, but really, but they were all coming from Marina. <laughs> so you know they was hating on the low. So she went to a whole bunch of suitors, it was like, alright, whatever. And then came this goofball again. I ain't gonna front, he was trying his hardest. But even more so, she's thinking to herself, like, if this fucker doesn't get on my face. Later on, she goes horseback riding with her brother. She's starting to hate the whole idea of forced marriages and whatnot. Simon meets up with Anthony later on, and you know, he's like, man, come on, when are you gonna stop smashing that little thought? And he's like, look, man, I gotta make it do what it do. I get it popping out here in these streets. What's good? So anyway, Daphne gets invited to sit with the queen while opera's taking place. Mom's a plotting on how to get Simon and Daphne together. They show Marina in the bed slamming pillowcases down. I mean, it was only a short scene, but I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck is going on there? Later on at the Bridgertons, they're all having dinner. Simon and Daphne are having a discomforting conversation. Anthony's peeping the scene on the low. After dinner, he goes to his studies. Mom starts talking to him about responsibility. Anthony's like, look, man, I'm making sure he, she doesn't get the wrong suitor. You know what I'm saying? She got to live life. And Mom's like, oh, yeah, just like you do with your little easy skeezy. Yeah, that chick Sienna. So after that, he's contemplating his responsibilities. And the next day, he breaks it off with Sienna. He's like, look, baby girl, it was fun, but you know, you got you to skedaddle, man. I got to attend to this other shit that's going on in my house. Get it popping. She's like, damn, that's how you treat me? Like, well, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? He's like, I don't know. You better live your life then, bitch. Do something. 
At the bar, we had the little feather in ten talking to one of the dukes. These chicks come by, try to dismiss her, and spill, spill drinks on her. I'm like, damn. But he like basically, fuck y'all, I'm escorting her anyway. So she's surprised and happy by the outcome. I swear I keep getting Cinderella vibes from this family, like for real. So remember when I talked about Marina slamming the sheets? Well, one of the maids looked through the sheet, and she had this look on her face like she found something. I'm like, what the fuck did she find? Anthony meets up with his sister, Dadney, and he basically tells her that you gotta marry Burbrook. And he gives her all these logistical reasons as to why. And she's like, really, of all people, that fucking clown? So back to Marina, when she slammed the sheets, turns out they found it was blood in the sheets. So basically, she was staying there for two months and she hadn't bled yet. And then all of a sudden, there was blood in the sheets. So my question is, was she about to have a baby? Did she have a miscarriage? Is this her first period? Like, there's so many questions right now. And she goes off on a tirade after the mom is scolding her. She's telling her, like, yo, do you think I really wanted to be here? And then mom smacks the fire out of her. I'm like, damn. Meanwhile, Daphne's in the garden b contemplating the g bombshell that was just dropped on her. And here comes this goofball again. And somehow the Duke of Hastings was over there eavesdropping. He attempts to take advantage of her, but she punches him dead in his face. He's about to come save her, but I'm like, he's like, damn, uh, I guess you're good. So her situation is she has to find another alternative or else she'll be forced to marry this goofball. So the Duke comes up with this plan for them to pretend to be together. That way, the moms will be off his back and everybody will be off her back. So they walk back to the crowd hand in hand, side by side. They dance together so that everybody can see. And that's how the first episode ends. And there you have the first episode. My only question is, who the hell is Miss Lady Whistledown? Anyway, Bridgerton on Netflix. Check it out. Like, click, subscribe, do all that. You already know what time it is. Best time. See you again. Ha 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 ha. Big. Who got this slogan?